You were in the best shape of your life. Correct. And you had a serious health scare. Correct. People typically call me the gym rat. Mm -hmm. I try and maintain <laughs> my body a certain way and be in the best shape of my life. However, uh, in 2022, I was stricken with a, a aortic aneurysm and my aneurysm dilated at 8.1 centimeters, and typically your aorta should be around four centimeters. So I was already redlining way past anything. Wow. And next thing I find myself on an offering table having open heart surgery. Welcome to Conversations with Verdell Jones, where we share informative and enlightening conversations and we empower our passion with purpose. I'm so delighted that you have joined us today. I'm your host, Verdell Jones, and I have a special guest here with us today, Derek Peterson. He's actually a Bayshore grad, and we have a lot of Bayshore grads Absolutely. in the house today. Yes. So he's a proud Bayshore grad. He's actually in the Hall of Fame for Bayshore, yes. so yes. that's right. exciting. Go Bayshore. <laughs> <laughs> uh, he is the founder and CEO of Solder Technologies, which is a rapidly growing environmental sensor and technology innovator, which is headquartered in Long Island, which is awesome. You keep it right correct. here. Keep it right here. <laughs> I love it. Um, but more than that, he embodies really perseverance. Correct. And his story is is really is really a great one. Um, he's been able to achieve at the highest levels, and we're just delighted and excited to have you here. So welcome. Thank you, Verdell. <laughs> it's a privilege to be here and honor. Thank yeah, you so much. Thank you. I mean, like I said, your story is fascinating. I, I, you had sent me some uh, a clip of you sharing your journey and your story, and sure. and. It's so interesting how all of the experiences that you've had, even when you were a high school student, has mm -hmm. really impacted you to today and the things that you do. Sure, well, if, if you can't learn, I, I believe you have to be able to learn from your past yeah. to know how to grow as you're going forward. Mm -hmm. So everything I've learned in the past has made me a better person today. Absolutely, yeah, absolutely. And that's, as we get older, we <laughs> need to really take a look and, and, and assess what we've done and how we move in, in life. And, and the goal is always to get, you know, better and better and learn from mistakes or, or experiences. I agree. Learn from yeah. mistakes, learn from experiences. Yeah. And each day, can I be just a little better than I was yesterday? Absolutely. And that's, that's always my goal. Mm -hmm. So you've had an incredible career journey. You have, um, from being in leading major firms to founding very successful companies as well. What sparked your drive to become an entrepreneur in the technology space? So I went to school, my degree is in computer science applied math, so I was always interested in technology. Mm -hmm. um, after graduating college and taking a job in a major public firm and seeing what this firm is doing with the, and how they're growing the company, I was like, I could do this, <laughs> I could do this. <laughs> so I, got, I spoke to the founder of that company he said, Derek, go ahead and do it. And mm. If you get in any trouble, you can come back. Nice. <laughs> so, so he gave me a golden parachute wow. to be able to come back, but I never came back. You never looked back. Never looked right. back. Do you still keep in contact with that uh, person? Oh, individually, <laughs> it's somewhat. Uh, yeah. But it's been a great ride, it's a yeah. great journey. That's awesome, that's awesome. And and the thing is, it's, it's again, it goes back to the experience and what you learn. But to go out and be an entrepreneur, was, how did, was that, did you have any examples of that? Like I have zero examples yeah. of an entrepreneur. <laughs> the only thing I knew about when I was in school, junior high school, they called me the candy man because I would sell candy to kids in school. Oh, wow. So I knew I had to go and buy well, iPods for five cents and sell it for 25 <laughs> cents. Right. So I always had jingling change in my pockets. So I was always hustling somewhere. <laughs> there you go. My father always taught us we had to hustle. Uh -huh. So I was always had my hustle cap on. Wow. Yeah, and that started way back in middle school. That's correct. <laughs> <laughs> so Sada Technologies is, is a game changer in the environmental and safety innovation space. For those who are new to your work, can you explain a little bit of what that actually means? Sure, first let me explain to you we, the origin of the company name. Sadek is inspired by the Greek god Soteris, the god of safety. So everything we do is we, we're aiming to keep people safe with our product line. Mm -hmm. And so the, one of our flagship products, the product we call FlySense, which is the world's first vaping detector. Mm -hmm. We put it in schools all around the world and we put it in schools' bathrooms. 
And, and when we text somebody who's vaping, whether it's regular nicotine or THC, we really can alert the principals or a security resource officer. And so currently today, we're exporting in about 45 countries or in every state, every city, we're in schools all over the place. Oh my goodness. And what was, what was the, what made you want to develop that type of technology? So prior to that, we were founded as a company called Digital Fly. So I'm, I'm rapidly as an entrepreneur. So mm -hmm. Digital Fly, we're doing social media monitoring. So if someone oh. posted a harmful threat on social media, we would identify it, geocode that threat, and alert the authorities. Hmm. And in doing so, schools also actually, we got this problem of bullying going on in bathrooms. And because, unfortunately, I was bullied growing up, because when I graduated high school, I was the smallest kid in my graduating class. Yeah. Roughly about 5'1", 110 pounds, so no. when it was time for wedgies, the guys came and looked for me. <laughs> yeah, you shot up really quick then, huh? I, I drank my milk in college, and I grew. <laughs> I was actually able to play basketball in college, in the college oh, team. Wow. So, okay. so anyway, schools access about this bullying going on. The nature of an engineer is to solve a problem. So we set up to solve a problem, put our first census in the bathrooms. Fast forward to 2017, schools then access, can you help us with this vaping? Mm -hmm. And I said, okay, well, we'll figure that out too now. <laughs> So lo and behold, I did not realize I was giving birth to a new industry of devices. Right. And so we released our first device in 2017. Next thing I found myself on Good Morning America, the Today mm -hmm. Show, and off to the races. And I have all these other companies trying to compete with me and copy me. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah. Well, that leads me to, uh, you know, you have solder um, technologies, and that leads me to all the patents you have. You have over 80 patents. Am I correct? That's Is correct. 80? That's yeah, 80, 80 plus, patents. but who's counting? Right. Who's counting? Right. <laughs> Which one do you think is uh, the most personal to you and why? Well, FlySense, because the one with FlySense detecting vape was one of my first patents I released okay. in this technology space. However, what became really personal to me is one, during the time of heightening of COVID, we released a device that we call SymptomSense, which is a medical gateway, and we were able to identify if somebody has symptoms of COVID when you walk through our gateway. Mm. And I have all the number of patents around that. So that is, really personal to me because we're helping save the world. Right. And instead of helping somebody with vaping, <laughs> we're, we're, we're on the grounds of saving the world. And we were able to export that device to all around the world also. So it's Major League Baseball, the NBA, NFL, bought my devices, put one, two devices in, uh, one pen plaza for the police department. Hmm. And so we were able to do that. You're really about solving problems. Absolutely, I'm a problem yeah, solver. If you, got, exactly. if you got a problem, I'm gonna solve it. Right, absolutely. I mean, because you had to pivot, and, and I think I remember um, hearing you say you had the vaping, schools were shut down, so you had to, COVID hit. Well, you got a big staff. Right. Yeah. Schools shut down. Right. That was my primary business yep. driving revenue. Mm -hmm. I think anybody who works for me, I got families to feed, put yeah. food on the table, wow. so I gotta keep my, my staff employed. Mm -hmm. And during the height of COVID, I didn't let anybody go. I kept the salaries wow. the same. Didn't have any shrink backs whatsoever. Hmm. And so what do you got to do as a company? You pivot. pivot. We made our new device and we're off to the races again. <laughs> so now you're back in the, in the vaping space. Back in the, because <laughs> well, those quote unquote COVID's over. Right. Nobody wants that anymore. So we're right, back to our, our, our roots. Right. Uh, originally scheduled programming. <laughs> yeah. Right. <laughs> but so we were also talking offline. You, you had some health um, issues uh, re more recently, I would mm -hmm. say, right? But you're a uh, Ironman, a triathlete. Yes. You were in the best shape of your life. Correct. And you had a serious health scare. Correct, so people typically call me the gym rat. Mm -hmm. I try and maintain <laughs> my body a certain way and be in the best shape of my life. So for those who don't know what an Ironman is, Ironman triathlon is just three events. Right. You swim 2.4 miles, you bike 112 miles, then you run a full marathon, 26.2 miles at the end. And that's a good day. <laughs> and I, I love doing that. So that was where I was at. That was my fitness level was at. However, uh, in 2022, I was stricken with a, a aortic aneurysm. And my aneurysm dilated at 8.1 centimeters. And typically, your aorta should be around 4 centimeters. So I was already redlining way past anything. Oh, wow. And next thing I find myself on an offering table having open heart surgery. And my first time ever being in the hospital. <laughs> Wow. So, so. Oh my goodness. Yeah, and that, that's a, it's a harrowing story. I did hear you, you tell that story before. And that didn't stop you though. 
because while you were in the hospital, you developed yet another technology. So again, <laughs> while, while I'm in my recovery bed, you know, the nature of an engineer is our problem. Right. I saw there was some flaws in the whole medical journey of recovery. Mm. I guess the first time I've been in the hospital, didn't know anything, what people experienced. I said, you know what we need to do? There was no communication tool for patients to communicate to loved ones and constituents. Hmm. So if I, and without being posting on social media, which I didn't want to do, oh, no. and without creating some crazy text group. <laughs> and then because <laughs> the right. problem with a text messaging group, you have to reply. People hmm. are going to keep back and forth, so you need a one-way communications to do that. Oh. And so we created this tool, this platform called IASO Notes, and IASO Notes, and IASO comes from the Greek god of recovery. Huh. <laughs> And so we released that, and now we're in hospitals all across the country. Oh, wow. Just continually solving those problems. Absolutely. Right. Oh, my goodness. How, how, do, you, how do you think being a triathlete, uh, Ironman, really um, influenced the way you approach business and, and leadership? Well, being a triathlon and an athlete like that, I'm so competitive, and I don't like to lose. No. <laughs> I don't like to come in second place. Mm -hmm. I'm going to win. And especially being an Ironman, Ironman is an endurance competition. So you have to be able to last no matter what trials are coming your way. And so in business, you know, always going to have to pivot and so forth. And you may, maybe have a lot of dark days, yeah. but you got to say, I'm going to keep doing, keep going, keep Absolutely. going, and eventually see success. Yeah. Yeah. People look at me now and say, well, he's very successful. Mm -hmm. But you don't know that it took a lot of years yeah to get here. <laughs> perseverance. <laughs> Absolutely, perseverance. Uh, so you also give back to your community. Absolutely. That is very important to you. We had a conversation a while Absolutely. ago and you shared how important it is to give back to your community. Uh, you developed something called um, doula notes as well. Correct. I, I guess it's similar to the ISO notes in a yes. sense. Um, why is it so important for you to be able to give back to your community? Well, I've been blessed. You know, there's no question about it. God's blessed me. I've been blessed. And I don't want to hold back God's blessing on somebody else. So that's who I am as a very spiritual person. And I want to be able to give back and bless the next person. There was nobody there to give me that hand when I was looking, when I was coming up. Mm -hmm. So why can't I give that hand to somebody else and help somebody else out? Right. And you mentioned the package doula notes. So mm -hmm. I didn't know anything about um, birth mothers and, and, and doulas. I knew nothing about the disparity. Mm -hmm. among, uh, among ethnic um, mothers giving birth. I knew nothing about that. Mm -hmm. I met with one of my friends, and she was describing what's going on in this community. I'm like, really? Mm -hmm. And I'm like, her name is Vanessa Baird Straight. I said, I Vanessa, <laughs> I can help you with this. I says, what do you mean? I can create a platform for you that you can actually share with all your doulas, and it'll be no cost. Mm. We'll, we'll foot the bill for this. Wow. Wow. And we're off and running, and now people all across the country are using this package of a platform called Doula Notes. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Again, solving problems. So anytime I have a problem, I might be calling you. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so you also, with that giving back, mentorship is big for you as well. Correct. And it really speaks to giving a person a chance or an opportunity or advice or whatever it might be. Mm -hmm. um, and shaping our community and the next generation. So I really want to thank you for that. Oh, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> thank you. Uh, so our, our show is about empowering your passion with purpose. For you, how has your passion for technology translated into purpose, especially when it comes to education um, and, again, with the impact on community? How's my, this is going to be a good one, how's it translated to education? Mm -hmm. Believe it or not, right now I'm actually back in school. Okay. <laughs> Doing my doctorate oh, goodness. <laughs> in biomedical engineering because hmm. I want to create life saving devices for the heart. So I don't want nobody to go through what I went through. Wow, see? And so I already got in my, my patent book mm -hmm. new patents to release <laughs> for helping people understand anomalies with the heart. And that's, mm -hmm. that's the goal. Right, because you didn't even know. I had no, you had I no idea. I, I, that blew my mind. They said I was a ticking time bomb, I, I was dead man walking. Unbelievable. Um, and you, you, you did your regular checkups and all that, too? Oh, let's not go there. Let's not go there. Let's not go there. We have a, a, a quick fire round, so I'm going to ask you a couple questions. Favorite innovation outside of your own? Favorite innovation outside? Outside of, of your own. Outside of <laughs> I mean, you've created a lot of them, but what's one outside of your own? 
outside of Maryland, it, it, it would have to be a game changer with the cell phone. Mm, yeah. It's just changed the world. It really changed the world. <laughs> it's just changed the world. Absolutely. The best piece of advice you'd give young uh, innovators? Uh, learn how to fail mm. and get back up. Okay, get back up again. <laughs> what legacy do you hope to leave through both um, your patents and your community impact? The, the legacy I hope to leave that when somebody will look back on my life and say I gave to my community. He was community driven mm. and he always gave back. That, that's what I like to have. Right, even more than the successful businesses and-, and I can come and go, but I want yeah. people to remember that he gave back. Absolutely. So thank you so much for being a guest. Oh, this is wonderful. Riddell Jones. I want you to tell everybody how they can get in touch with you and find out all the new things that you're doing. And hopefully you'll let everybody know when you finish your doctorate. So just let people know where they sure. can reach you in this camera right here. You can, you can <laughs> find me at, my website is uh, the company named Soder Technologies, www.sodertechnologies, S-O-T-E-R technologies.com. And also, which I did not share with you, Vidal, you can mm -hmm. also find me on my personal website called www.branddp.com. Okay. And you'll find me there, too. All right. Thank you so much. Oh, this, this has been great. That's awesome. You're awesome. Thank you. Thank, thank, you. thank you. I thank appreciate you. it very much. Thank, thank you. you. So I want to thank everybody for watching Conversations with Vidal Jones. And remember, in the words of Maya Angelou, when you learn, teach, and when you get, give. We'll see you next time. Don't forget to subscribe, comment, and follow us on social media so you will never miss an episode.